Hi everybody, my name is Super Bowl Brawl. I've been a Pokemon fan for a long time, so I want to go through every single team that I've had, because I remember every single one. And I'll tell you a story about each one. My first Pokemon game that I ever got was Pokemon Silver. And here is how it started. I'm just going to choose some of them. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you the 3D sprite from Pokemon X and Y of the Pokemon. My so there was Cyndaquil, a Pokemon that I love a lot. My first Pokemon that I caught was Sentry. Because it looked so cute that I wanted to, and, then, and my friend told me it was uh, pretty good because he used it in his team. I got a Mary because my friend told me to catch a Pokemon that would be good against Falconer, and he told me that Mary was a good one. For some strange reason, my Quilava evolved after my I enter my Cyndaquil evolved into Quilava after exiting a Pokemon Center. I know it's strange, but that's what happened. Then I got my first badge. Then my Mary evolved into Flaffy. I really liked using Flaffy for a while. Then I got my, my second badge. Then my Sentry evolved into Fur. It was hard, but I beat Whitney, and I was proud of it, and I got my third batch. <coughs> I got an easy shortly afterwards. Like almost everybody that I know that played Pokemon for the first time, they accidentally overleveled their starter. Well, I'm not gonna be honest to you and say I did the same thing. I my type my Quilava evolved into Typhlosion before I even got my fourth badge, and it was the only Pokemon I needed to fight the for the everybody every single trainer and Morty in the gym. I wanted my Eevee to evolve into Umbreon after my friend showed me hits. It was really cool, but I, but I accidentally evolved into Espeon because I didn't know how to get it. But I was okay with that. I accidentally got the sixth bag before the fifth batch. It was an accident, I know, but I still had fun. Then my Flappy evolved into Ampharos. I was really happy because my Ampharos, Flappy, and Mary were really fun to use.
I took uh, for it out of my party because I knew she wasn't gonna. Because my friend told me she wouldn't be that useful for the next few gyms and for, for us, the Elite Four. Then I got the fifth badge, but for me it was my sixth. I found that I found Entei and I caught it. I, it was really hard, but I'm proud of what, what it came out to be. I got the red Gyarados. It was my first shiny Pokemon, but you can easily get one in gold and silver. But I was still glad that I got shiny Pokemon. I got my, my seventh badge. After that, it was fun, but I had to go through the pain of the next gym. I got the eighth badge, surprisingly, and I was pretty proud of it. It was really hard, so that's why I was happy about it. I took Espeon out of the team because my friend told me that it was better to have more Pokemon because for catching Lugia and the Elite Four, it wouldn't be too helpful. Then I caught Lugia. I kept it in my party. But I was it was my first Pokemon game, so that, that's why I didn't know about the stats of legendaries. I back then I thought legendaries were just rare versions of of final forms of, of rare Pokemon. Ghastly because at the time Pokemon Crystal came and I wanted to use a Gengar in that game. So I was catching Ghastly and training it, so I also tried to use it for the Elite Four. <sighs> then it evolved into Haunter. After that, I beat the Elite Four. <sighs> 